How fast you walk can predict how long you'll live. My name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in helping people with balance problems and preventing falls. A 2011 study that was a meta-analysis of nine other studies asked a very interesting question. Whether or not how fast someone can walk can predict how long they'll live. Let me explain how the study worked. It was done on 34,000 subjects. They had all of the subjects walk 10 feet and then measure their gait speed. And what the researchers found was that gait speed had a significant ability to predict how many more years a person would live. Now in this study, the average age of the subject was 79 years of age. So they were looking at how many of the subjects would live for 5 years and then how many would live for 10 years. The findings were very interesting. When they measured all 34,000 people, they found that the slowest group was that they could walk at 0.8 miles per hour, which is fairly slow. And then the highest level people, they were walking at three miles per hour for 10 feet. And what the study found was that the people, at, the people that could only walk at 0.8 miles per hour, only 58% of them survived for five years. Only 30% of them survived for 10 years. The group that could walk three miles per hour, 94% of that group survived for five years and 81% of that group survive for 10 years. The researchers found that whether or not a person used a cane or walker did not lower their life expectancy. In fact, they found that as long as the person used the walker or cane to help them walk faster or help them walk more often, that that actually was a good predictor of lengthening their lives. So one message from this study is that using a cane or walker, if you need it, can actually help you live longer. One important note about this study, this is not to say that the faster you walk, the longer you live. What it's saying is there's sort of a threshold speed that if you can walk above that threshold speed for just 10 feet, that you have a much better chance of living for five to 10 more years. And that threshold is around 2.5 to 3 miles per hour. One message that I wouldn't want people to get is that walking faster equals living a longer life. There have been many studies that have shown that there's actually a danger in having seniors walk too fast. That if someone has an underlying problem like a stroke or Parkinson's, that teaching those people to walk faster actually causes more falls, which would result in more death. So the last thing you want to think when you listen to the study is that walking as fast as possible makes you live longer. That's not the conclusion. What they really found was that people that are able to walk fast, say 2.5 miles an hour to 3 miles an hour, for just 10 feet, had a much less chance of dying in 5 to 10 years than people that couldn't do that. Now the reason that this is true, the reason that the researchers found that gait speed is such a good predictor of how long you'll live is because falling is just a leading cause of death in people that are over the age of 70 or 80. So because of this study, I would make a recommendation to anyone watching this video that first of all, you want to try to use an assistive device if you need it. One way you can know if you need an assistive device is something I call the shopping cart test. If you go to a store and you push a shopping cart and you find that you're more stable when you're walking with that shopping cart than when you're walking around at home, I'm gonna tell you that you probably need an assistive device. You would probably feel more secure walking if you had a cane or a walker because that'll help you feel a little bit more stable. But what's important is to try to walk as much as possible. If you can, your goal should be to walk every day for 30 minutes. You can do this walking on level ground, walking outside, walking on the beach, even walking on a treadmill.
What's really important is to try to increase your time of walking. I would say for anyone, even people that are having a lot of difficulty, start by trying to walk for five minutes and then slowly over weeks and months, build that up to 30 minutes. The minimum for a long life is 30 minutes of walking each and every day. And if you can do this, there is a lot of research that says you're going to live for a longer time and have less falls. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.